This video here is about how to weigh your tongue weight on your trailer. And I'm using the Sureline product. And here's the scale here. as the gauge here. This is the 1,000 pound version. And then over here is an extension that you use to put on the top here. To fit it underneath your ball socket on the trailer. This little piece of wood here is really important. You're supposed to put it in here when you're storing. It's 5 eighths and hold it in place. So the manual they give you is pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, very good actually. They go through a lot of things on trailer care and how to drive your trailer and what to do and what to check and all that kind of stuff. And then they get into how, me how to measure the tongue weight. So, uh, the first thing is about care. If you just, uh, they have all of them in there, manual. But the thing is, is do not lift by here. That will move the seals in there and disturb the readings. You want to pick it up by the base. And then, like I say, when you're storing it, you want to use this guy here. Uh, you shouldn't be carrying your trunk of your car or your, or your uh, truck. Um, keep it inside, keep it where it's warm, where it's, you don't have a lot of variations. Um, when you set this up, you should, here's all the boards I used that I put underneath the trailer hitch socket portion to level up this guy here with the extension on it right here to get the right height. So the first thing you got to do is make sure that you're trailers level um you also have to have your boards underneath so that you can get it under the ball socket of the trailer and um i'll have a video where i show the actual readings so again you got to really take care of this unit don't don't beat it up and uh, we'll get into the other video to show you how i measured up my tongue weight Okay, here's the setup I have uh, to measure the tongue weight. And there's an extension that goes on this gauge here. And you level that up. Well, first of all, you level up the trailer. Then what I did is, if you can see, I've set this um, gauge to level up to, so that it would fit in the top of the ball carrier of the trailer so what we're going to do is we're going to raise this up put that underneath okay and so now I should be able to tilt it put it underneath here and you want to center it up so that when it comes down now one of the things you're going to want to do is gauge over here i want to make sure it's not underneath the trailer so he can read it so get another look from it over on this side here so we're going to lower this down and see what the tongue weight is And he keep going there she goes and over here you see the stand lifting off so the total weight is on there so let's see what our reading is okay our reading is 340 now that is with the trailer and the back storage area with my stuff that's normally in there tools and stuff uh, a little bit of food pillows and blankets on the inside and uh, the water tank gray tank and black tank are empty and the pro ta propane tank is full and there you go okay you just watched a video on how to measure your tongue weight with the scale and this here is a spreadsheet that I put together for basic facts, uh, starting out with, I've got a 2020 Little Guy Max, 
and the trailer weight dry weight is 3140 right here now that trailer dry weight is basically the weight of the rv as shipped from the manufacturer without any passengers cargo liquids or additional accessories or dealer installed options what the dealer pretty much installs is your basic option is your battery and your propane tank so those are about 100 pounds for those two items which gives you a dry weight of 3240 now let's what it would be with nothing inside the trailer. And then I've calculated out the ideal tongue weight would be 12% of your regular weight and your maximum weight be 486 and your minimum be 324. So I, that video was showing you with a propane tank full, no water, under bed storage, I got about 60 pounds and inside the trailer, I got about 40 pounds. Give me a total trailer weight of 3340. Now your ideal would be 401. Max would be 501. Min would be 334. I measure 340. So the 340 is just above the min of 334. So it should be brought out as close as possible to 12%. And then the next readings I'm showing here is with the fresh water tank full. That equals another 167 pounds added. So your total approximate trailer weight here is 3507. And your ideal weight would be 421. Min, min being 351. Max being 526. And lucky or not, I ended up with 420 measured tongue weight. So I was right in the sweet spot. So by using your water tank, you can actually level out your trailer. A lot of people run with their water tank empty because they figure it's more weight that they got to carry. Well, turns out the water tank is a handy way to, if you got too much in the back end of your trailer, to bring the front end down and get to, closer to the measured tongue weight. Now in the description, I've included a link to the Sureline 1000 pound tongue scale. And that's on Amazon. And then also I included a couple other videos uh, there's a demonstration on tongue weight safety. Pretty much shows you if, the, if your weight is to the back of the trailer, you're going to get some fish tailing. And then the last one I have is weight distribution hitches explained. And pretty much your weight distribution doesn't affect your tongue weight. What it does is it transfers weight to the front of your tow vehicle, which happens for me to be a 2014 Grand Cherokee. It's a V6 4x4. And the factory installed hitch is good up to 620 pounds. So I'm within the range of everything. It's uh, worked out to be nice. I wasn't certain what my my hitch weight would be. And it's, it, it's, it, it's a safety thing. You really need to balance your trailer out. Um, buying that scale, you can use it every time you, before a trip. And you can take a look at it and you can readjust the weight in your trailer to get closer to where you should be. So if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a nice day.